Men versus women survived the wilderness for 500k. Five men and five women in the middle of the wilderness. And whichever group survives the longest with that 500 grand. I give y'all three days. That money's all ours. That is your side of the woods. And that five, five. is your side of the woods. That's 100k a person. Who, yeah. who, would you, who, 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 who you say winning this? I'm going with the guys. I got to go with the fellas. Okay. I got to stick with the guys. I feel like emotions going to become high over there. You feel mm -hmm. me? And somebody going to ruin it for, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going with the guys. Why would I go against us? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, ladies. You know what I'm saying? You know I love y'all. You know I'm saying? I, I always respect. rock with y'all. But I got to go with the guys respect. too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you. And you are not at any point allowed to cross sides or you'll be disqualified. You should go start prepping for your first night. We out. Let's see who okay. wins. There's no way the girls are beating us. They not five men. <laughs> How do you think the guys are doing? Terrible. They probably stopped by now. We're not gonna. But they survive. could be outdoorsy women. Yeah, they, they could. could be outdoorsy. Gonna thrive. Women. Damn, those some great pants. How do you think the guys are doing? Terrible. They probably stopped by now. We're not gonna survive. We got to be able to move like that. You bought some good pants. Some good pants. Okay. Oh, we getting old as hell. Oh, yeah. We're great, great <laughs> we worried about the stretch. In the bed. As long as we're good being a little hungry. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, we got strawberries. What? Woo! Anything that's around here is on our food list. I'm already seeing a shit. All right, I uh, low-key might be going for the ladies. No, Lock in your bed. Don't switch, don't switch now. I'm oh, sorry. Right. Don't switch now, nigga. Shelter in my you know what I realized about being sick? What? For some reason, I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you enjoy life, bro. Oh You're like, damn, when I get unsick, <laughs> the things I'm going to do. Oh, God, oh God. <laughs> I had this Never eat wild berries. And miles away on the other side, the girls found a spot to set up their camp. The water is, that is a really mountain? bad right here, so I'm hoping we can follow it back and maybe find a clean source to gather from. This is nice. Yeah, this might be the spot, you guys. Things might be going smooth now, but compared to all my other videos, this challenge might be the most brutal one that I have ever filmed. Oh, oh. Now, I hate and regret it. Oh. It's so hard out okay. here. I just heard so. Oh, just let y'all know, chat. Oh, we will be spending 48 hours in the wilderness. Wait, who the fuck said yeah, that? I forgot to tell you. Why we can't start with 24? Nope. It just, what? Nope. Why we can't do 24, Me, you, a narrator. 48, and then? Me, you, a narrator. We can't do 24, nope. 48, and nope. then seven days? Nope. Come on, man. Nah. Fuck. Fuck, man. I'm mad, too. No, you ain't. I'm moving there, bro. All right, bet. I, you be, all right, bet. Bet. The IRL uh, 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 going crazy. It's going crazy. No, no, no. Lock it in. Lock it in, bro. Lock it in, twin. Okay. I just heard some moving there, bro. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay. Why are you bothering these people? Why are you out here bothering these people? I didn't even know you was gone. Damn, man. Hey, let's check what supplies we have. Fruits, granola, sausage. <laughs> Dude, you got all the meat. I also gave each of them a water bottle and some key survival gear. That's not a lot of food. We're gonna have to figure out how long we want to stretch this. Attention, can all of you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. We're all here. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page on how this challenge works. To make things more interesting, if a person leaves this challenge, they will still get their share of the prize money. The only thing that matters is which team lives oh. in these woods the longest. We were not oh. expecting that. No one ever does. It's it's up to each of okay. you to decide whether you stay to help your teammates or leave to save them more food. Also, oh, is she gone? No way. For this entire challenge, you will never the know more people how many you men have. are still left oh. on their side, and the men will have no idea how many women are left on your side. It's a game of strategy. This will be fun. That food goes a lot further for like two people than five. Oh, because really you can leave. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. Her right here. Her right here. At, uh, at the end. Yeah. That's a, a wilderness survivor. Yeah, her you right can here. tell. That's Eliza Thornberry. You can tell. You're only gonna be able to sustain one or two people. Cross that bridge when we get there. If anybody does quit, I do not hold it against you. I will 100% hold it against you. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, after that first week, I think it's strategy though. We got strategize. Yeah. 100. Hey, we're a team, bro. We're making it. We're staying. Girl thrill, boy thrill. <laughs> For the rest of the night, both camps began constructing Damn. their shelters to prepare for any upcoming storms. And the guys built theirs out of the first twigs they found. We have a whole TP built and everything. The girls are not doing that. Actually, they are. And they're doing it way better than the boys. Oh, and, oh, uh, oh. I'm going to try and get a fire craft. Okay. Yay! I bet we beat the guys in that. 
There we go. There we go. Ooh. Let's go. What a freaking start of a journey, boys. Shout out to the ladies, bro. was kind of rough. They knew it, was a long it. time to go to sleep. Good morning. We need more walls for the TP still. Let's get making our house. I think the girls are doing way better. They making that. He's out. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's <coughs> I, it, I, I retract my original statement. No, 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 no. It was we not a uh, I love y'all. After Ally, the boys are we are going through the woods because we need water. Bro, so much has happened. The boys have to travel miles through an undrinkable, filthy swamp. I hope the girls have to go through something like this. I'm not gonna lie, you can't see anything in this water. We yeah, really want to drink swamp water. Well, over a mile and a half, two mile walk. <laughs> it's day two. And after <laughs> hours of searching, the boys finally found a water source. Finally. By day three, the women had a crazy strategy. Self-eliminate some of their teammates so those who stay had more food to consume. If we as a team want to win this, diving into this is not sustainable, even for two people. I would like to have two people here at least till the end. I would agree. Yeah. And it was very clear to the whole team who those two girls would be. Sadra and Julia are our survival mommies, and so we kind of are at their beck and call to help them do whatever we need. The boys, on the other hand, had absolutely it had no to be clue some whatsoever. We are definitely not rationing it. Like, no. There's no talk of strategy amongst us. Five people's a lot of people like not for that food stash. We can't last to the end with five people. Day four, Josh and I were okay, talking about- Okay, I will about, say, uh, I will say- Shout out to the ladies, bro. The ladies are gonna have more thought put into every decision. The guys are gonna have just a better chance at just roughing it through shit. Yeah, but the the ladies are gonna think about everything that they do. Us having yeah, to be the providers to while they are we the entertainers. TJ and I, we mm. can... bro, you know what I want us to react to? What? Uh, there's I want to react to like the nigga that get bit by shit. Can we? I mean, he on. I mean, he too. on it, but that nigga get like that nigga. Welcome to the danger zone with Coyote <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Carrying the weight, just been building, 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 building for the team. And there's those three still sitting around the fire doing nothing. They just want to be served. Josh, are you going to tell us if the food was done? Yeah. When? Did you know the food was done? Gonna spend nope. I know I went on the in the country. Yeah, I thought so. Right? Silence. By this point, the boys weren't even yep, a week sure. into the challenge. And they were already yeah. teaming up against one of their own. I will directly say <laughs> to Josh, it looks like you're chilling all day. And then we're burning God's amounts of energy day in and day out. And that hurt a lot. I mean, if anything, half burning these calories that he's so tired about doing backflips and showing off in front of the camera. So it made me contemplate today whether I really want to do this anymore. While tension oh. was making some of the boys consider leaving, the women Come were on, ready man. to Team do the work, same. Bro, what y'all doing? Part of their strategy. This food load might have to change. It can't change. We're still not getting into rations. It is time to start, as a team, sending people home for the goal of winning. It can't be more than two people touching the rations. Yeah. So we have a team decided that it's time for me to go home. This is Hannah, and I'm ready to leave. We will discreetly evacuate you out of the forest without alerting the boys. Let's do it with a discreet monster truck. We're about to pull up on their camp for their first elimination. I'm going to step away as a team strategy. It makes sense. More food for the other four? Well, let's get you out of here. I love you winning, okay? Damn it, fellas! The women end up we can't go out like this. Here. You're the first out, but you'll get a hundred grand. A lot of people have said, "Okay, I just left." Well, Hannah, that's a that's 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 a lot of thorn beer. What's up? Damn. Damn. And consider herself lucky because for the next two days, intense rainstorms forced both of the teams Ooh. to stay in their shelters and survive solely she on their rations. Get lucky. We definitely can't live off this food for much longer. So come day 10, I decided to throw in a twist. And if you've ever seen one of my videos, you know that means it's time for a challenge. But to make it even more intense, every 10 days, the boys and girls will have to elect a leader to face each other. And we're going to kick things off by visiting the okay. girls. Hey! Hi, it's day 10. What do you think that means? You're gonna give us some great news. It depends. Uh, I need you to pick a leader and face one of the boys for a potential prize. I'll meet you at the bridge in an hour, whoever you pick. This is where we take the video up a notch. We choose Phaedra. Let's go see how the boys are doing. Welcome to the men's camp. Oh, you guys look so official. I need you guys to elect a leader that in one hour will meet me at the bridge. Unanimously, killer P. Man, I feel like I shouldn't be confident. Inside, I feel a little scared. Okay. He might be a little too old. How long confident. until they become you know cannibals? That's a great question. <clears throat> he, he... 
It's it's yeah. He might be a little. He might be the downfall of the team, bro. He, he seemed like the one that's <laughs> causing the main friction. character. Yeah, come yeah, on yeah. in. These walks are so dramatic. Congratulations on surviving. Ooh, okay. How's it going? You saw the animation. Come on. These walks are oh, no! Look at so it. Oh. Congratulations. That's Cassie Everdeen. Yeah. That's, what is it? What is it? I don't even know, twin. <laughs> It's <laughs> on surviving 10 days. How's it going? Really well, actually. And remember, they have no idea how many people are still left on the opposing team. How many women do you think are still in? There's three. How many men do you think are left? I'm going to say three, too. The funny thing is, both of them are completely wrong. And neither will know the truth until this video is uploaded. This challenge is simple. You're going to take turns firing at that target. And hanging from Ooh. beneath the target is a bag full of perishable Ooh. food. If you hit Ooh. the target, it'll drop it. But if you miss, move it to the other side. She will then get an opportunity to try to win it. Okay. So good at archery. I'm definitely second guessing this decision of sending Patrick and not me. Oh, Phaedra is going to kill it. Absolutely. Yeah. Whatever it lands on, fires first. <gasps> not in the water. Mid. Okay. Fire away. Shot number one. We're out of here. Have you ever shot an arrow before? I have not. Oh, All right. oh damn. I feel like I'm watching the Super Bowl. Yeah. Damn. Oh. First oh. oh. time shooting an arrow. Bro, what happened? Yep. Oh. Move the target to the other side. <clears throat> so you can make oh. oh, she's taking the jacket off. Oh, it's going time. Oh, this is serious. She desperately needs those rations. Will you be the one to bring them home? It. She hitting it. She hitting it. She, ah, uh, yep. She got it. One Dude, shot. It's like watching the Hunger Games. <laughs> I'm just saying, it can't be Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go grab it. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers to victory. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. a shot of the boys. They're struggling. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So y'all are. Speaking of, like, so I see this. Have you been seeing the dudes on TikTok just eating like vegetables? They call it boy lunch. No. Okay. Boy so, lunch? Yeah. So I'm going to order it for us today. Basically, it's like a big ass thing of artisan bread, some peppers, and like broccoli. And he's just eating it, a little piece of cheese. Is And it's like she's eat, they're eating the ingredients. I don't know why, but it made me think of this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You need to eat a lot and quickly. Instead of cooking I noticed she keeps saying y'all. So, we had, we, had Wait, what? we had to dip into our rations after the rain. And looking at this, this is primarily perishable. So, although it adds for a while, it's not going to add long term. And so, we had yeah, the conversation true. that I would go. You think about leaving right now? Yes. Conveniently, I'm already here if you just want to hitch a ride back. Yeah, no. And so, with a toast of feastables and hugs to say goodbye. Bye, Divas! We'll see you on the outside. The women's team was down to just three survivors. The women are doing so much better. Yeah, they're down to three, but it's smart. It's a three. Smart three. I do Santana. With plenty of food and one less person person to split it with. The girl's morale was through the roof. I'm feeling really good, really optimistic. We've been really pushing ourselves hard, Damn. so to be able to have this meal is going to mean a lot. Cheers, guys. Mm, delicious. However, losing fault, the challenge ladies. took a real toll on TJ. My fault. I'm beating myself up pretty badly about the archery competition. Everyone thought it should have been me. Unanimously. Killer P. Killer P? I should have stepped P. up when I had the chance. But when I was sitting on that chair and I saw the bows and arrows, I just thought. <laughs> hey, this, hey, hey, bro, get this nigga out of here, bro. Hey, this man, he knows how to upsell, bro. This should have been me. The next challenge. <laughs> he, know, he knows how to upsell, bro. Bro, this is a lot, bro. Bro, <laughs> it should have been. Why were you quiet? Because you didn't so, go to the challenge. It's only thing. been nine minutes. It's, it's a lot of will be me. Nine the girls bro. enjoyed their abundance this of food for the next few days. Cheers. The boys, unfortunately, hey, hey. had to still catch their food. Let's go, baby. No! What the? Come on, bro! No way! With the ration. So you jumped in the water between jumping in the water to get the fish? Y'all are disappointing me! That boy, he ran. How you run from the fish? You fucking. Oh, it's running dangerously low at this point. The boys team. I'm gonna be in that water. 
but starting to become hopeless. Bro, Kim, I'm so glad that I got you here, bro. I know I may seem sluggish and stuff, but this is all mental. Like, I have nothing in me. The pressure had really started to get to Cameron. And while Sammy tried to lift his spirits a little, oh, by the morning of day 13, he had already made up his mind. The sleep deprivation is, is taking its toll. I just hit my breaking point. I'm proud of you, bro. Hold it down, man. I appreciate the journey, man. I Cam. That was a big bummer losing Cam today. How's today for a dark day? But the boys weren't the only ones taking a loss. Today is Kelly's day. We're going to miss her very much. We are. While the girls were they look related. leaving strategically yeah. with half a million dollars in mind, the boys, on the other hand, were leaving from the difficulty. I'm so defeated. Wow. I'm grateful for this. It's just, wow. this is freaking tough. Just had a we could we could have thugged it out. Man, what? Whoa, whoa. Wait a uh, minute. We ain't, never, we ain't never spent a day in the woods. But we ain't never spent a day in the woods, bro. 500K? Boy, I'm gonna be out there. <laughs> be out there, being feral. Oh, 500K? It's because they ain't think about shit, bro. Yeah, see, that's why they. That's why me and you, why, yeah. Jimmy. What's up, twin? What's up, man? I could have spent 14 days in the woods. 14? They only on day 14, Aaron. They only on day 14. Uh, yeah, we for sure could have rocked them, bro. Breakdown, bro. Do you think you can make it to the next challenge? Oh, <laughs> no. It's about to break me, bro. Two like, weeks ago, it was my birthday. Big hook. So after draining his remaining calories upgrading their shelter, the boys went to bed and made the radio call in the morning. What up, boys? I got a message on the walkie. That's going to have to be mine to explain, Jimmy. I'm not going to be the big macho man and say this isn't hard. All right, everyone, let's walk him out of the challenge. Come on. Leaving the boys' camp for the last time, Sammy gave the guys a parting gift. You want the t-shirt? I'll take the t-shirt. The literal clothes on his back. Let's get those shirts. Now that you've taken everything from this man, he's free to go. <laughs> he's free to go. He is now in the Sherpa, <laughs> which means he is officially eliminated. Carl, get him he out of here. He took this man clothes, bro. Two days. Patrick gonna be the downfall of the team. Fuck. So now we're gonna be a one? Absolutely not. Just two he weeks into the challenge, it. and we have already lost half the players. And things are only going to get worse. I looked at that he trap that picked him up, and my first thought was jealousy. I don't know if oh. I made it to the end. Oh. With Josh already on the verge of quitting, things got even harder. Because remember, Josh, Patrick was giving Josh problems at the beginning. Yep. Uh, Bruh, we, he was kind of being a bully. He was, yeah. As a massive storm rolled in. Oh, oh, oh. It's raining right here. Unlike the girls who can sleep soundly in their well-built shelter, back at the boys' camp, he their home was not him. equipped to handle all this rain. This is not okay. how I want this to end. The torrential downpours continued for the next two days. Damn! My coat had drenched through, and my whole belly was soaking wet in my waders, and my pants were soaking wet. I was, like, ready to quit. The rain has finally cleared. And they was over there good. They was over there good. Some little breakfast oh, this morning. Lose, They're a little beef stew. It's delicious. I bet the boys aren't enjoying a happy meal. I bet they're not. Bad news ran into my worst enemy. Poison ivy. It's spreading everywhere and unbearably painful. No! So I'm wondering if my time here is coming up. We're in a better spot than the guys. Has to be right. No! So I don't know if people can take this for a long amount of time. Hey guys, we need to talk. The things I wanted to do, I definitely did. And at some point there is just the need to get out. The selfish part of me says, you quit, I get a bigger meal. Hey, this is Josh at Men's Camp. I think I am ready to go today. And just like that, Josh was out. Uh, the next yo, challenge, Josh. Jimmy, Hold come on, on man. Let's go, Carl. Let's hit the road. I'm going to say this, like, honestly, I believe 100% we just got stronger. We have enough food to last us. So you with an ego and a crybaby. Oh. Oh. Patrick, you better win us this fucking challenge, okay? And I don't even got nothing on the line. I, I ain't even room for Patrick no more, bro. Uh -huh. I ain't even room for Patrick no more, bro. It's as long as possible, plus win all the challenges. That's a pretty bold statement. <clears throat> so let's put that claim to the test. What day is it, Chandler? It's Friday. Day 20. Which means it's time for our second challenge. Alert, alert. Pick a captain and send them to the bridge. 
Easy work. All right, I'll see you in a minute, okay? Sounds good. I'm gonna show her that no matter what, she will never win. Since both of you didn't come last time, I need to make it clear, if you step across the middle, you're eliminated. Which may affect your team's chances of winning $500,000. Chandler, can you give me something to mark the middle? Okay, we'll yes. put it back. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. My team and I are offering you and whoever's still at camp $50,000 if your team quits right now. Oh. Sounds like oh. you might be scared that you might oh. not make it to the 500K. Anyone else feel the oh. tension here? Oh. We'll see in day 33 when it's all over. You're only giving yourself till day 33? I'm giving oh. you till day 33. Okay. Whoa. You guys are being as nice as possible, also talking so much smack at the same time. <laughs> well, let's bring it together. So, because the storms are decimating your shelters, in this challenge, you're going to be competing for your oh, own ginormous oh, tent to stay as waterproof. Oh, oh, bro. Whoever oh, wins this tent! Season's coming in, so this will be clutch. Would you want? Oh, shit, we only fit 13 minutes in. Oh, oh, this thing is I mean, I'll last. take it, but if the guys get this taste of comfort, maybe they'll leave. Or it can make them last longer. Doubt it. Oh, this is very nice. It's decision time. So, this is different than the last challenge because both your teams could win a tent. I'm going to be in that tent. It would sit really nicely right there. All you have to do is eliminate yourself. <gasps> Ooh. If Julia does take this, we won't have one more night together. That'll be hard. Oh, Since Evil G is back again. Challenge, I need you to make your decision first. No, come on, Julia. Do you oh. want to eliminate yourself so your team can have that tent? Oh. I'm going to take the tent. Whoa. OK. So it looks like oh. I am now officially by myself. I honestly can't believe you took that. Now it's your turn. Which oh. is more important, you or that? You got to stay, bro. You can't. Yeah, you can't trust. You can't trust that nigga. I can't trust that nigga. Come on, you can't. bro. And you can't say that either. But you just gotta. Yeah, I can't. You can't trust, can't that. trust that. Tent. Mm -hmm. All right, my team. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. That was crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I think it would really be huge for the overall strategy and, and the win, but um, I thought I was yeah, actually going to get a chance to give her a hug goodbye. This isn't 100% rainproof. That could really end the competition. My whole mood has just changed. It was the right decision. For the wrong person. With the wrong... If only... Somebody else had lasted yeah. with them. Back at the bridge, while Phaedra was gathering her new tent, TJ secretly stayed behind to investigate. Wait, no way. And what he found was like striking gold. It's weird send only one person to pick up that tent. Now I know there's only one woman left. She will not outlast. They made the her pick it up. I gotta tell Pat. Patrick, are you awake? I spied they made on her them. Pick it up. And it's one person left, the person that you win against on that first challenge. And we have two less food less shelter. Now that you say it like that, I feel like I made the wrong decision. Would you have preferred the tent or me? The tent. Oh. Unfortunately for TJ, the intel he gathered at the bridge seemed to only make matters more tense for the boys. He turned down dry shelter to come back. What kind of brother would do that? The TJ. If oh my God, this bro. Nigga. He one of them. He one of them. Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Pat. Your dumbass would have been out there getting the tent by yourself, stupid. Pat, come on, Pat. He would have took the tent, it would have sealed the deal. Because we all know shelter is everything. And at the girls' camp, Phaedra was officially carrying the team, setting up her brand new tent in just a few hours. Look at that. <laughs> it's awesome. Just in case people are wondering who's going to win this. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah, I'm might. rooting for the ladies, bro. I'm yeah, rooting for might, the ladies, she bro. Might. She I might take this home, bro. She might take that home, bro. No bugs. There is more room than I know what to do with in here. While Phaedra had more room, do the boys, on the other won. hand, Damn. were betting on each other to get themselves to that half a million dollar prize. You may have that tent, but you're all alone. Us here at the guys is came so, too, so we could always be socializing. I bet he and by challenge three, she's gonna want to leave for sure, bro. It was a pleasure being around Julia. Having such a lovely human to interact with got me spoiled, honestly. But it wasn't just camaraderie that was keeping the boys going. About to go 
crawl shit. Dad. Dad hunting. This is where a killer pack comes in. You need to get some food. Living off the land was going much better than expected. There we go. And that's a snapping turtle okay. right there. But while the boys okay. were finally thriving, Phaedra had found herself in a dark place. I do miss yeah, having alone. some physical contact with people and like being able to give somebody a hug or just like even a handshake or a high five would do. <laughs> what I said, chat. What I said, Chad, it's gonna come down to that. It's gonna come down to right here. How they feeling? It's gonna come down to it. Like she good. She got a tit. She's a wilderness galley. But it's gonna come down to right here. While the men might be fighting, but they might just thug through some shit. Right you know? So it it's who can who can last longer, bruh? <clears throat> <Here you go. laughs> How about a high five? Um. At this point, Phaedra literally began talking to herself out of loneliness. However, the boy's bond was continuing to grow. Dang, dude, that's as big as you. Look at the size of that thing. Dude, that's literally five and a half feet long. Sorry, six foot five. <laughs> I'm so excited for challenge day right now. Oh. I'm hoping that we just go ahead and win. I'm oh, ready to go home with my family. I'm ready for this to be over. We're going to see how challenge three goes. With TJ's and Patrick's bond having grown stronger than ever, I knew exactly how to test them on the day 30 challenge. Are you going to oh, be the shit. captain? I was asking around, but nobody else was here. <laughs> By default, I'm the captain. Okay. Yeah. You did day 10. You did day 20. Who's going to be the day 30 captain? Patrick. Back, back, back. Let's my go. Oh, man. Go get that dub. All right, this time we painted a line instead of using a plant. Been a while since you saw each other. I'm really surprised to see you here, actually. Whoa. Yeah. Are you two ready to hear the challenge? Yes. Yes, sir. Here's the deal. We have the families of every oh. single contestant oh. still in this challenge on the other side of the woods. And you oh. guys have a choice to make. You can see your family or everyone in your camp can see their family. You know, I do have a son that I would really like to see. Aww. So, um, I, I'm gonna choose myself. Phaedra could have just tricked Patrick into thinking she's not the only woman left. How about you? Are you picking your camp or yourself as well? No, nigga. No, I nigga. Kids. I choose myself too. Okay. The decisions have been made. Load the helicopters and fly them out. It's so good to see you. See you too. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, Mr. Yeah. Beast. Beast. Challenge. Challenge. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, beautiful. Oh, it was just I miss my family. mom, and I really miss deep. my oh, son. Shit. My family is the main I reason. I thought they was eliminating the themselves to see the family. Nah, no, nigga, it's the fat cuz. It's cause, oh, yeah, it's cause, yeah, He yeah, can't yeah. even see his family. Yeah, but he didn't want to give up the information that is, yeah. The reason why I'm still standing here, my time has just been reset. I'll see y'all in 10 days. I'm just gonna sit here and just feel sad. <laughs> see, you know, you know, like when you say it, you know, like when you say it, you know, like when you say it, but then when they show it, it's insane. It's this is why these niggas are evil geniuses, bro. It's like, cause like I just said it, Pat, I Patrick did it so he didn't reveal how many people was in the camp. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think that's why. I think that's why he didn't say everybody in the cause. Nothing happened. Nobody was leaving. It was just, will he see his family or will everybody in the camp see that? No, well, yeah, he won't. He see wouldn't it. see his. Yeah, that's, that's that's the thing. Where did it's they not, find these? It's no, not a reveal. Ask, it's ask like craft class. It's like either you go see your family or you can't see your family, and I let you see yours. Either I can't see mine, I let you see yours. That's the thing. That so he it was selfish. It he was, took the self. Was, that's damn. why it's like this. Damn. Bro. I'm just gonna sit here and just feel sad. I haven't felt like the best today. I've had some time to reflect on the last challenge. I'm super grateful for that experience and for having him come. But after seeing Lincoln, I really wanna go home. I'm not going anywhere. I was a little bit worried when Pat got to see his family. I'm locked and loaded for challenge four. 
but it just lit a fire underneath him to say, I'm going to win this. Obviously, I've got to this point because of me trusting another person. This right here is about to prove how important a strong and good friendship is compared to doing things on your own. And although having someone by your side can ward off the boredom, being alone also does have its perks. I don't even know if I can eat this all. I literally have more food than I can eat out here. I'm not going anywhere in men's camp. <laughs> and so it was the battle of rations versus companionship. That was True. until the night came. And the men's camp got a surprise visit from an uninvited guest. Uh-oh. What heck is that? There's something out there. It's like air. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Stay still. I don't know why he didn't go to the women's side. When the morning came, TJ set out to investigate what exactly that noise was. Yeah, that's definitely from a bear claw. Verified by our trail cam, a bear came up right behind the men's shelter, which would be enough to scare any sane person. Last night, a bear came through camp. I ain't going nowhere. Awesome. And although Patrick was feeling <clears throat> confident about staying yesterday, I'm not going anywhere. This close encounter had him thinking otherwise today. Haven't you seen my family? Love, that appreciate the sun. Like, I don't do outdoors. It's like breaking news. I'm a DJ. Yo, TJ, we gotta talk about something. Yeah, what's up? Me? Oh my God, you he's so better selfish. Not you, better not, nigga. You done did all this to these other people. You better not. TJ, we're just speaking. The rations would make more sense if I leave, so that TJ can finish this. Him saying to me, "I trust you, and I'm gonna leave," is huge. Yes, for this is. Um, he's gonna be fine. Please, let me grab this off This is Patrick at Man's Camp. Oh, because you scared, nigga! He also, bro, that and was- You just- I ain't gonna lie, that was so manipulative. That was so manipulative. Yes! I was so manipulative, And bro. any, if you, if, if, if the other guy, if you was even, I mean, you gonna wanna win anyway, so I guess it don't matter. But if you was paying attention, the nigga's not leaving so you can win. He's leaving because he's scared. After just making a selfish decision of a lifetime. Bro, he's so manipulative, it's crazy. Oh, oh, is and what since I have him? Logan Paul and KSI with me, I guess I'll bring him along too. Dude, this is him? gorgeous. If you're gonna survive in the wilderness, this is like the environment to do it. Bro, how do you know where anything is? <laughs> what? <laughs> KSI. What? Oh lasted. no, I just saw a little fly. Uh -oh. Yo, Patrick, I got the call that you wanted to go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him with the most amount of food. Can I see how much food you have left? No, yeah, leave it over to our beer. pantry. Now the that bear. he's leaving, how long do you think this food will last you? Oh, this will get me to day 60, challenge six. How long do you think the girl or girls have left? By challenge five, it's gonna be over. No shot. She already has 13 days in isolation, and I'm just starting at one. We have the advantage. I am alone! So with both camps now down to one Jeez. remaining survivor, it was all up to TJ and Phaedra to fight the isolation and out. win their team 500 grand. And while TJ was hunting animals okay, to make okay. up for his dwindling rations, Big belly. Phaedra was hunting them to keep as pets. Little Princess Shirley. Neither TJ or Phaedra were showing <laughs> any signs of giving up, which brought them all the way to day 40, also okay, known as it. another challenge. <laughs> Welcome back, it's been 10 days. Dude, it's awesome that you spent this time alone, but how do you logically plan to beat me? Because we have enough rations to last us 80 days, so I don't have responsibilities back home. And then on top of that, we're having fun at camp. There's nothing to do. I don't like to get ahead of myself and be like, Lying. yo, I've got 90 days, I've got this in the bag, because like when you start to get arrogant. But in 20 days, 30 days, do you really want to be here? What about Lincoln? Oh, I don't really oh, think you should use people's oh, children's names oh, as weapons against them. That's not oh, appropriate. I will use whatever weapon I can. Oh, Getting intense. How you decide to treat me has no factor on how long I decide to stay out here. Likewise. Wow. It seemed like all them niggas was terrible people, man. Yeah, no cap. All them niggas are terrible people, bro. No all them niggas are manipulators, crazy. Fuck these niggas, man. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> for our day 40 challenge. Both of you will be presented with a survival item. If you want it, then simply write it down on your board and you'll keep it. However, if both of you write it down, <coughs> neither of you thing. will get it. That means Only. that you'll have to try to convince each other to actually let you keep an item. And for our first item, we have a fishing pole and all the bait you could ever need. 
Can one of you give up an item without guaranteed receiving something in return? They both wrote fishing rod. We're not off to a good start. Our next item is Dude Wipes. Who helped me pay for the video? Dude Wipes are flushable, disposable wet wipes okay. made from 99% plant-based like materials wipes. and water. Oh, very refreshing. It's time for what might be the most important vote of your life. Not only are they better than toilet paper, but Dude Wipes also work well for showering, which these two could use. He wrote Dude Wipes, and she wrote... Okay. Whoa! Congratulations, here you go. Okay. Woo, I got Dude okay. Wipes. Item number three is more Dude Wipes. Because they're the sponsor of the video. What do you think of the dude wipe? I mean, it's working. Yeah, it's working amazing. It's time to vote. Did you write anything? He did not. All right, here's your. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna write it just to, just to, just to not let her have it. That would be crazy. Dude wipe. Hey. If you want to be like these two and try dude wipes for yourself, just go to Walmart, Amazon, or basically that anywhere you insane. shop at. They sell them there. Stop using normal toilet paper. That's for losers. Getting to clean themselves after over a month was a real boost. And at this point, either one of them can win it for their team. But thanks to the girls' strategy of intentionally eliminating most of their team early on, Phaedra was not worried about food at all. They at say, well, all. how much gas do you have in the tank? And truly, my answer is at until all. they decide they don't want to be here anymore. As the days passed, TJ was getting more confident he would win it for the boys. I'm just so set on this ending Challenge 5. I'll be heavily surprised if this goes past Challenge 5. Everything in my heart, soul, mind is saying Challenge 5. Even though it's come down to a 1v1, both TJ and Phaedra are fighting to win their team this $500,000. Hey, they battling hard, no cap. As for TJ, a victory She's couldn't come soon enough. I'm going to have a double portion of rice. Just make sure that I'm going to have a fantastic winning day of day 50. And now it is time to put all that talk to the test and He's see if our day 50 little. challenge will really be in TJ's He's favor. Contestants, come on in. Come on in. I couldn't make day 50 because I'm currently spending seven days in a cave. So I'm hologramming in. How's the cave? Oh my God, this is insane. It's pretty brutal, not gonna lie. <laughs> you guys haven't seen each other in a while. You want to talk? All right. What do you two think the day 50 challenge is? I have no idea. I see a container that says supplies on it. For day 50, we're going to celebrate, and you both get feastable. Oh, yeah! Well, little did they know, there was a twist. <coughs> you each get a multi-pack of chocolate. Right. That's so nice. Get in right. here. Feastables are available at Walmart, Albertsons, and Kroger's What's nationwide. Go buy Feastables and What's see if you twist? like the taste. That's it. You can go back to your camps. Enjoy your chocolate or save it. Yay! See you on day 60. Are they far away? Yeah. OK. What they don't know, Chandler, is inside one of those chocolate bars is a message that tells them to come back to the middle to get three days' worth of food. You show the viewers the food. Let's see who finds the message first and wins that oh. food. I'll see you in a couple of days, Chandler. I love oh. you. Wait. Say it back. He didn't say oh, it. Oh, shit. Challenge five. We finally got our Feastables. These are chocolate. Chocolate will melt. Oh, so I need to find the best way to God. store these. I think I might just open another one, because honestly, I know that seems excessive, but it's my win. Have one square after every meal. That should last me throughout the rest of the competition. My mental health right now after Challenge 5 is through wow. the roof. While TJ was feeling confident, Bug he was so appreciate the rationing that he barely made a dent in the feastables. I feel like I'm better rationing my chocolate, because that's a better commodity. So I know I have to save it. And save it he did. Wow. TJ went the next three days without touching a single piece of chocolate. Then, on day 57, he found his favorite flavor. Our peanut butter feastable. Whoa, wait, what? There's something on the back. If you were reading... Damn, I wouldn't have opened the peanut butter first. I wouldn't have opened the peanut butter first. Not even gonna lie. Damn. You got over there? Mm -hmm. This, there is three days worth of food on the bridge for the first person to grab it. Good luck. Please, folks, you'll have to wait. Let's go. Three days worth of food. So much. Let's go. I don't see her. This might be a man victory. Looks to be. Go. Oh, she, she got, really it. got it. Dang. And that was good editing. actually beat out TJ because that was just three days ago, this happened. Three days <laughs> worth of food. Oh, sh. It's still here, people. Wow, you guys. Feels really good to win this. Dang, Paige is not even here to gloat about it. I just feel so Damn. sad now. I ran for nothing. Magic. It feels like I've been here for nothing. If TJ isn't careful, that feeling could quickly become a reality. Technically, he lost, by the way. What? Crossed the line. He did? Yo, I don't think he crossed it. His hand did.
You got to step over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to step over it. It feels like I've been here for nothing. If TJ isn't careful, that feeling could quickly become a reality. One of these contestants will win their team $500,000, while the other will have spent months in the wilderness and potentially go home with nothing. I can't live off the land because it'll take too many calories, and it's not even a guarantee every day. Uh, we just killed the last of our egg scramble. It has been difficult for me to be alone out here. Every day is hard, and it's kind of taking its toll on me. It is night 59. I Sixty days for nothing. Tomorrow. I am praying. Kyle, appreciate the, the sub. Price for tomorrow is more rations. I don't want to give up just yet. It's time for the day sixty challenge. So you guys met on day forty, oh. day fifty, and once again on day sixty, it's the two of you. How is the three days of extra rations? I was gonna ask you how is your candy bars. <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling? You got ten days left in you? Oh, I got ten days left in me. The Day 60 Challenge is simple. Both of you will write down anything you want. You'll then show okay. each other what you wrote. And if you approve of each other's items, you can have both of them. But if just one of you says no, you both oh. get nothing. You can ask oh. for a lot, and there's a high chance she says no. Oh. Or you can ask for a little and potentially get it. Do you have oh. what you want written down? I do. Do you have what you want written down? Yes. Three, two, one, reveal. Phaedra wants an art kit. And TJ wants a private chef for seven days, two meals a day, fully equipped with spices and food. Do you approve her getting an art kit? Oh, yeah. TJ approved you getting an art kit. So, so nice. Do you approve his Don't do private it. chef Don't for do it. seven days, Hell no. two meals a day with Hell spices? Hell no. I will run out of rations Hell no. Oh, man, I would love to, but I can't. I'm going to have to say no on that. Yes. What? <laughs> You were too greedy. Little... That was day 60. You're free to talk as much as you want. Good luck in the next 10 days. See you day 70? Yeah. All right. Oh, Bye. he got a rash. For me, the physical aspects of things out here are not the problem. It's the mental things. There goes that idea. He's I had everyone's right. hopes and dreams on my back. I think I'm going to have to put he went too big. that stone down. He went too I want to go home so badly. He's I've just been right. out here for so yeah. long. I just received a radio call saying someone wanted to leave. The person leaving is waiting in the vehicle. Oh! Bring out the team! Each contestant oh! here is about to find out if their team just won oh! half a million dollars. Who are you rooting for? Oh! Who are you rooting for? Oh, oh, oh. I hope the girls win. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think she won. I think I she won. I, I don't think she did, but I hope the girls win. Will it be the men? It's or still the day women? 60? The contestant <laughs> who forfeited will now reveal themselves the boys lost and the girls won <laughs> we didn't want you guys to go home empty-handed so we're gonna give each of you 10 grand for at least competing phaedra is still alone at the girls camp and has no idea she's just won <sighs> phaedra are you here you're back yeah <coughs> come with me real quick i found this backpack and i was curious if it was it yours might be. Uh, that was actually a lot you just won Damn. I really missed first. I saw you guys every day. You did it, though. Yeah. You're done. You did it. You all just yeah. won a hundred thousand dollars each. Maybe next time, boys. Yeah. Hey, good shit, ladies. Good hey, shit, ladies. hey, Jimmy. Like those, throw us out there, throw man. Us at, yeah, throw us out there, bro. I, ain't gonna, I was going for the guys because it's guys, but them niggas say suck. Suck, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, granted, we ain't gonna survive, but we gonna have some. We fun. gonna have some fun. We ain't gonna be sorry, people. Yeah. Damn it, man.